What the hell is this thing? And why is it in a computer case? This is actually a crossflow fan, similar to those found in some air conditioner units. And after discovering it has the same cooling capacity as three 140 millimeter fans, Trikes integrated it into their new Flova case as a premium intake. It mounts to the front of the case and pulls in air from a long side vent that aids up to three more fans at the front. Up to a 360 can fit at the top, and the case will arrive in black, white, and pink versions to start at 139. Trikes has gone back to the drawing board and re-released a new and improved version of their Luca L70 case, with smarter mechanisms to make their side panels more secure and a revamp in build quality across the board. While the L70 shown here has a glass front panel, Trikes also unveiled their L70 Air. For 20 bucks more, you get a mesh front panel with dual 200 millimeter fans that are 38 millimeters thick, which should move a ton of air. This is a single chamber case where the PSU can be mounted at the top or the bottom with up to 240 or 360 radiator support in either location, depending on where the power supply sits. Another 360 can fit on the side of the case, which has a vented side panel behind it. The L70 series fits up to EATX motherboards and supports back connect models for cable-free aesthetics. I think both versions of the case look good, but I really want to see what the L70 Air can do with those massive intake fans. The Arc Vision has a rounded glass panel that incorporates the same design language as Trikes' Panorama AIOs, and even has an optional display panel that can sync and interact with the cooler's display. The case starts at 119, but you'll need to shell out double that for the display panel add-on. If that's too rich for your blood, there's more panel options made from various materials like wood or possibly resin that are bound to be more affordable. After debuting their flagship Panorama AIO at Computex last year, featuring a premium Asetek pump and a $350 price tag, Trikes has now introduced the Panorama SE, a more affordable liquid cooler priced at $279. It retains the standout feature of a fully customizable curved screen, seamlessly integrated with Trikes' sleek and intuitive Canali software. To reduce costs, the SE model swaps in a more mainstream Asetek pump, still capable of handling an impressive 280-watt TDP. While it omits the VRM fan found in the original Panorama, this trade-off allows the screen to be rotated, giving builders even more flexibility to personalize the look of their rig. But the most unique AIO I saw at Computex this week was their new Stage Cooler, which features two adjacent screens and a mirrored bottom to create a dazzling digital backdrop for figurines, action figures, or whatever else you want to display in your build. The screens are customizable, of course, and you can expect this cooler to drop in September for just under 200 bucks. With so many liquid coolers dominating the show floor, air coolers felt like an afterthought, until Trikes caught my attention with the Taurus, their impressive dual tower air cooler. The Taurus stands out with a 5.6 inch LCD display, making it the only air cooler currently available in the US with a built-in screen, following Deepcool's exit from the market. It features 120 millimeter fans and is available in single or dual fan configurations. The Taurus is competitively priced at just $99.